Uh, my name is John Romero, J-O-H-N-R-O-M-E-R-O. -E I'm the public information officer for the Lakewood Police Department. Uh, so earlier today, uh, around 1.47 p.m., our agents uh, were called to a home on the 400 block of South Oak, just off of Alameda and Oak, for reports of an armed robbery. Uh, the victim, uh, a postal worker, uh, was working at the time when he said that two uh, females were armed and stole several items from him. Uh, the females then ran on foot when the suspect was able to get to a neighbor's house and call 911. Uh, just a few minutes later, uh, when our agents arrived, they came up against one of the suspects. Sorry, let me do that last part again. Just a few minutes after that armed robbery, uh, several of our agents uh, approached and contacted one of the suspects at the Grease Monkey just behind me at Alameda and Owens. Uh, the suspect was armed and began firing at our agents. Uh, several agents returned fire hitting that suspect. That suspect has been taken uh, to the hospital. I do not have uh, an update on her condition right now. Uh, in addition, during that shooting, one of our agents was also shot. That agent has been taken to the hospital. Uh, it appears non-life-threatening injuries at this point. Uh, we still have one suspect outstanding. Um, we don't have a lot of information on those suspects right now. Uh, the closest description we have is two Hispanic females dressed in all black. Uh, we did recover a gun at the scene and we are continuing to process the scene uh, as we speak. Uh, we're also working uh, with the uh, response team in Jeffco uh, comprised of different law enforcement agencies from around the county uh, who will also come out and uh, investigate this. So just shortly after the armed robbery, uh, Lakewood agents made contact with the suspect uh, at the Grease Monkey just behind us. Um, it was there that the suspect began firing uh, at agents immediately. Our agents returned fire. Uh, the suspect was shot and one of our agents was shot. Um, was the work going door to door? Sorry, was the door? Was the postal worker going door to door when this all happened? Like I don't. I, I, all I know is the postal worker was was in the process of doing their job. Do you know what was stolen from the postal worker? I don't. I don't have that information. Do you have an approximate age for I don't. Um, uh, we're trying to see if there's any video in the area, uh, trying to see what we could find at this point, uh, but we don't have much of a, a, a description other than uh, two Hispanic females uh, dressed in black. What kind of gun was A handgun. Can you describe the area? Covered? Correct. We're looking at the area, but again, it looks pretty obvious that right across the street from a postal facility, you think yes. it's one's related to the other? It, you know, at this point, we don't have uh, any information that would say that it's related to the post office immediately other than uh, it was a social, uh, excuse me, a postal worker. Um, again, it's still very early on in the investigation. Uh, we're putting everything together. Uh, we're interviewing uh, witnesses, and so we're just going to go from there and, and see where it takes us. Four don't know the exact number. Several schools are in the area uh, were put on lockdown uh, while we searched. I believe uh, since then they have all been released. Do you have a name of the suspect? I do not. We don't have a name yet. Can you see where the agent was hit? Uh, I cannot. Um, the suspect uh, was tended to by agents immediately. Um, uh, life saving measures were performed. Again, uh, ambulances were here quick and she was taken to the hospital. You said all black, right? But the suspects all black. Correct. Single suspect. Correct. Do they have like masks covering their faces, or can you tell like how their hair was? Was it pulled back? Do you have any identifying I markers? I don't have that information at this time. Again, we're we're interviewing witnesses right now, so hopefully we should have more uh, soon, especially more suspect info soon, which we will put out immediately. Then again, one of our agents was hit uh, by the suspect during the shooting. Uh, agent has been taken to the hospital. Is expected to be okay. We are currently working uh, with, with the postal inspector uh, and others in this case. Is there a reminder in there, John? I mean, we're talking about a postal worker. It's not just any sort of worker. They're employed by the federal government, correct? Sure. Takes, the crime takes on a higher meaning, correct? Is there anything you can say along those lines? You know, I don't have that information right now. As it is right now, we are the lead agency. That could always change because of the federal involvement. Uh, because of who the postal worker is, uh, but right now we are the lead agency on this. But we are working uh, with the Postal Service as well. Any advice to folks in the community since there is one suspect on the loose, they're willing to do this to a postal worker. I mean, is there concern for public safety? 
it's one of those things where we tell people if you see something say something um, if something looks suspicious do not hesitate to call the police department do not hesitate to call Jeff come and report it everybody good I think we're good cool sure sorry we're